using the color remover. Again, it's the splat color remover. And while it faded my hair a little bit, like there are parts that did fade significantly, it still retained my pink hair, which is really bizarre and really weird because this pink color usually washes out with shampoo. Like if I wash it long enough or often enough rather, it f fades out on its own. But I don't know, I guess it became extra tough because it's like the third time that I've colored it pink and there's underlying color when I reapply it. Also, I did a weird thing because the dye that I used was actually a three-in-one color shampoo and conditioner. And instead of applying it like a shampoo, I applied it like a hair dye. So I had dry hair and then I applied the color on that hair. And so it resulted in a more vibrant color. So I guess it's part of the reason it's tougher to get out, but look at that. Like, it did help. A lot of the hair has become white or close to white. So it is effective, just not as effective as I would like. And to be fair to the product, they did say that it's not supposed to bring it back to its original or natural shade but it prepares it for recoloring. However, I'm trying to go back to blonde and this ain't it. So I'm gonna have to fade it some more with a different technique or another um, round of bleach, but so far so good. It did an okay job. Am I gonna repurchase it? Probably not, but I would probably use it as a fading treatment. Like I would probably mix it with um, either clarifying shampoo or anti-dandruff shampoo. Like instead of the Katie's fading treatment, I would probably use this because basically this is a bleach mixture with a lighter developer and it's got coconut oil in it. So it's generally safe for the hair as long as you don't put it on your roots and as long as you don't put it on virgin hair. So these two together, they work okay, but I need to work on my hair a little bit more. So there's still dark pink parts that I need to get rid of, but I'll be back to blonde in a little while. So. Um, all right, so it has been a day and I checked the condition of my hair. It is super dry, like as um, it's generally okay, but the fact that I used a deep conditioner after using the color remover and it still ended up like really dry like this is kind of disastrous. Like a word to the wise, you're better off using one of the fading treatments that are out there. I mean, it seems gentle enough at first, but the results, one, it's not light enough. There's only like a few parts that have gotten back to white. All the rest are like lighter pinks. Some are still vibrant pink. And um, yeah, the, the texture is not good. And I will have to go with a deep conditioner. My favorite is Briogeo, but it still has not arrived. I do have some Olaplex over there. Um, I'll probably do that and then rest my hair for a little bit and then go with the, a normal bleaching to remove the pink and also to be able to retouch my roots. I do have like a bunch of, um, yeah, I do have a bunch of uh, bleaching kits with me still so yeah overall it was an okay-ish product but I don't really recommend it so it's been about a week since my last um, fading thing I have been shampooing my hair with head and shoulders and 
it has faded my hair significantly. I've been shampooing my hair every day and there's still parts that are a little dark or bright and parts that have turned super pale, parts that have turned white. So hopefully by the time that I do bleach my hair, it will go back to its original face. Now I'm gonna go prep my hair with the Blonde Protect and then I'm gonna go bleach. All right, I have now applied Blonde Protect again. Um, I've used the remainder of the bottle. It's more than half, but I don't know. Maybe last time it didn't work because I didn't use as much product as I should. So I used the whole bottle this time and soaked my entire hair in it and it did say you can use a fine tooth not a fine tooth comb um a wide tooth comb rather to help distribute the product evenly so i think my hair is saturated now and hopefully the bond rebuilding thing works because the last time my hair was like super dry from um the fading product that i use but fingers crossed it has been 45 minutes so I'm just gonna shampoo and condition my hair and then follow with bleach. Wish me luck. I am done drying my hair after rinsing out the um, Color Oops Blonde Protect. So now it's time for me to bleach my hair. All right, so I'm gonna go bleach my hair and the bleach kit from Splat comes with both the lightening powder as well as the oxide now the instructions say you can pour the powder into this bottle and then shake it but i would rather use a bowl and i mix it with an applicator brush and it also comes with gloves that are stuck to the instruction manual and then of course you're going to need a hair cap as well as um a plastic comb as well as uh, clips which I don't have here at the moment but basically that is all you need now once you've got your powder inside the bowl you can start mixing the oxide and I try to put a little bit of in of it in at first and start mixing like that and then when it incorporates I start adding more oxide now the reason that I do it this way is so that the formula doesn't spill over and to make sure that all of the formula is mixed very well like no clumps or anything i mean it's totally up to you if you prefer to mix it in the bottle and shake it but i just i prefer it this way as well as um in the instructions it said that if you use the bottle make sure to use the bleach as soon as possible and like not leave the cap on for more than two minutes and that just freaks me out so i like to leave it out in the open and make sure that your area is well ventilated so that's actually open i don't know if you can see it but it's a screen and then the glass is open so there you go it's thoroughly mixed and i can start bleaching my hair now start from the mids to the ends and then do the roots. All right, I am done showering and I'm letting the bleach process for 30 minutes. As you can see, I did not do my roots because that will be an entirely different problem for later. It's been a little over a week. Um, the last thing I did was shampoo my hair with anti-dandruff shampoo. Um, I used to use head and shoulders, but I ran out, so I'm now using clear and it's mostly white now. There's still parts of it that's pink, but I am clinging on to dear life that my hair will not fall off. It has never been that damaged before. So I'm gonna try to revive some of my hair's health. Um, I'm gonna go in with one more round of anti-dandruff shampoo, and then I'm gonna go in with Olaplex.